WUSA 9 Game on Sports, brought to you by Xfinity. Well, it's called the FXFL, and you've probably never heard of it, but it's a fall developmental league for players trying to make it to the NFL. You're about to meet a few players, some of them local, who participated, and what they went through as they chased their NFL dreams might surprise you. As men, I'm going to say this to you, fellas. We're going to go out here tonight, we're going to play a game. We're going to handle our business. A real good pay. That's audio of an October locker room confrontation between FXFL players and league commissioner Brian Woods. Players weren't getting paid and threatened to walk out. Yeah, eventually uh, he gave us our checks uh, probably an hour before a kickoff, you know, and we had guys scrambling to go, you know, make sure the checks were cashed. Life in the FXFL. Players like Rodney Woodyard trying to make an NFL roster while putting up with inconsistent pay and more importantly, being denied access to critical game film. As an athlete who's trying to make it to the NFL, the film is the most important thing that you can use to get yourself in the door. Sources told Nine Sports, Woods is withholding it from players and trying to sell it to NFL scouts for as much as $25,000, a seemingly desperate attempt to recoup money for his cash-strapped league. Uh, a couple scouts, you know, they, they told me, you know, yeah, this, this is what he's doing. We're not going to pay for that. When reached by phone, Commissioner Woods admitted his startup league experienced financial growing pains. He did not, however, respond to allegations. He tried to shop his game film for money. Meanwhile, players like Morgan, a former Montgomery County High School standout, put up with it for moments like this when he picked off Josh Freeman, a former first-round draft pick of the Bucks, hoping maybe it will catch an NFL team's eye. Interesting stuff. They went through a lot to try to make those dreams inconsistent lodging as well. One of the hotel owners out there taking legal action against uh, Woods right now says he, he owes him $68,000. So uh, it's one of those wow. situations where guys yeah. follow on a dream and they'll do whatever it takes. Is there any